Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com, and Rex, and uh, I'm north of uh, Tampa, uh, Tampa, Florida, and I'm, um, uh, well, I'm living next to a, a canal, uh, kind of a swampy kind of place. Uh, we have to watch out for alligators, uh, so... That's, I think, is probably the biggest threat for Rex. So, uh, it's, so she's been spending time inside the trailer. When I'm going out, well, then she has to kind of uh, watch the trailer because I'm scared to leave her out. I want something dragging her off. And, uh, but, uh, and like I say it's 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 wilderness. <laughs> There's a lot of wilderness here. It's really hard to get around here. Uh, I was shocked how difficult it is to uh, get around. And uh, now this is all cleared out here. So you get the parts where they're, they're not cleared out. It's tough. I mean, uh, in, in my world, like I say, I'm Kansas, Oklahoma. So, you know, most all this all came about during the... Uh, the cowboy days. So I always, whenever I'm driving around, I'm looking at things. I'm always imagining, boy, riding your horse, going through there, bringing your wagon and all your stuff, you know. This is what I'm thinking. But down here, that stuff doesn't happen. Um, it, and I, I really don't know how they got around. I mean, it, it's been some pretty bad stuff i mean i couldn't even walk it i mean this stuff was really really bad this stuff isn't near as bad as some of the stuff that i've seen and uh i say a lot of these canals have been made and so uh and it's mainly for drainage uh because when it rains and the water's got to drain somewhere because this ground well here i don't know if you can see it see how soft the ground is it's really weird and uh, I say they got all kinds of stuff growing. And, uh, uh, but I say, so what, uh, so what I think about riding a horse. So I don't know how they did that down here. I mean, they, 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 I know they brought surveyors down here to take a look at this place, but I don't know how they could have got around. Uh, I mean, even the waterways um, weren't that, I mean, Imagine the stuff is, you know, maybe five or ten foot wide with growth all around it. I mean, there's no way uh, they'd even be able to take a boat, you know. So, I mean, there's been a lot of strange things that I've, I've learned since I've been down here. Like I say, you got to remember, I'm not, I don't go to the cities. I say I'm out here in the middle of the country and um, I'm trying to trying to learn and, and see things and ask questions and this type of stuff. Uh, one of the things you might might have noticed, all, all this hair I got, uh, this is the most hair that I've had uh, since I was 18 years old. And uh, all of this. Uh, and uh, But I'll tell you, it's going to be going away. Uh, uh, this warmth down here, I say it's been in the 80s. Um, there's been a couple days that got down close to, uh, freezing, but I was further south. Uh, right here, they did get in the twenties. Uh, but, uh, and that wasn't the high, that was the low, <laughs> you know, so, uh, but I, I tell you, I don't like all this in the heat. And I don't mind getting hot and sweaty, but boy, this is really bad. So I, all this would be coming off here, uh, come spring when things start warming up up north and um, I'll be heading uh, that way uh, north uh, I say I'll be going to uh, on what I have scheduled right now is uh, Tallahassee and uh, Panama City uh, but there's other places that I want to go uh, in uh, Alabama but you know, that, um, as I get closer, I'll, I'll know a little bit more. Uh, but it's been very interesting, uh, my time here. 
Um, I know I don't miss all the snow. I mean, this is what, about February, uh, I don't know, Fe February 14th, maybe, maybe 14th, 15th, something like that. And uh, I don't miss the snow and cold temperatures and ice and all that stuff. Don't miss that at all. Um, out here, I am roughing it out here. Um, I don't have water, no electric, no nothing. Just got a place to park my trailer. And uh, so it's, it's, been, it's been an experience. And uh, I, I, uh, I really like Florida, but I'm here in the winter. And uh, so I've heard a lot of bad things about this place in the summer. And then especially hurricane time and all that stuff. But um, well, I say it's been it's it's been interesting. Uh, all the people that I've met have been really nice, uh, open. Um, I was staying with uh, someone I was in Vietnam with, and uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, <sighs> We were able to talk about things uh, that you can't talk to other people about. Uh, when, uh, when you've experienced things and you've done things, you've seen things, uh, it does make a difference. And he even mentioned that uh, when you've done the stuff that we've done, when we were 18 years old, uh, you don't look at other people like they're the same. They're, I mean, it, there is a definite difference between you and others. And this is something that I've had to deal with uh, this whole time. And I've never, normally I don't get around uh, uh, and really talk to Vietnam vets and but this i say we were in the same unit we experienced some of the same stuff now he was on the other side of the hill than what i was we didn't share the same hole uh but like i say it's uh uh we uh we are different and um you, you can tell <laughs> you know you, you can tell that we really are different and so it was interesting uh, how we can talk about stuff and we realize there's nothing wrong with this just by talking about it you know because we're seeing something different than what other people are seeing so that was a big big deal i really enjoyed going down there uh, he's the one that uh, got me started with the uh, metal detecting and um, uh, bocce you, bot you ball i think that's what it's called so, and there was a bunch of Italians. It's an Italian game. I've never been around that many Italians. <laughs> so, uh, and it's, that's always fun going around different nationalities. So, that was very interesting uh, being around all these Italians. And you got to remember, everybody's old down here, too. So, uh, uh, they, they say that uh, uh, it's uh, Heaven's Waiting Room, <laughs> what they call Florida. And then they said uh, the national anthem is um, ambulance siren. <laughs> so, you know, oh, man, I mean, it's, it is a, a different atmosphere. Uh, it's neat that they take care of the older people. Uh, I mean, these older people are bringing money into the state. Uh, they, and so, I mean, there's, there's, uh, and it's a, a different type of, uh, well, you'll, you'll tell when you get older. I, I notice now when I get in problems I have, they're a lot easier to deal with. I used to think it was because I had more experience, but I, I learned that it's just the idea of old. Uh, it's harder to deal with older people when you're a young, high-spirited um, got the authority and all this kind of stuff. That sounds pretty good, but these old people don't give a crap. So, I mean, it's a little, it's a little different. You have to handle them a little bit different. So, uh, so it's been very interesting. Um, I'm going to, uh, 
probably this is Saturday uh, probably Monday I'll be heading out tomorrow is I say Sunday Sunday I do pancakes uh, wherever I'm at I just start making a bunch of pancakes feed everybody pancakes and so so that's what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow morning I'll be making pancakes so we'll be celebrating with pancakes but um uh, and then you'll see me also be I'll be wearing a white shirt too uh, because, like I say, I got to know it's Sunday. How am I supposed to know it's Sunday? I didn't even know it was Sunday until today. <laughs> today they told me it was Saturday. Oh, man, that means tomorrow's Sunday. I got to be making pancakes. So it's stuff like this. Uh, your life, you think about life different and stuff like that. And down here, I'm amongst all these people that are old, just like I am. And it's interesting to see how they act, how they think. Uh, find these old people with cars that they always wish they had when they were younger and so you know, they're driving vets and Mercedes and all this kind of stuff and you know they probably sold their house somewhere up north and so uh, now they got some uh, money that they normally wouldn't have and they don't want to give it all to the kids so then they're 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 they're, they're kind of making themselves a little bit happy here at the end so but anyway uh, it's been very interesting and I love it down here in the summer. Uh, I wish I could make a habit of coming down here, but I think traveling is going to get a little more difficult. And it's, for me, it's not point A to point B. Normally it's point A, B, C, D, E, F, C. You know, like, like I say, for me, the journey was, uh, uh, wanted to go to Oklahoma from Kansas. So, of course, you go to D.C., <laughs> Myrtle Beach, you know, uh, just w working my way down, you know, uh, southern uh, Tampa, um, uh, Venice, Venice, Florida, and then uh, uh, working my way, way back up. And then like I say, it's, I'm, I still have, oh, maybe six weeks or so that, to get me back to Oklahoma. And even that, I'm not sure if it's Oklahoma I'm going to be going to. I'm, I'm thinking maybe Arkansas, uh, maybe even uh, northwest Texas, um, southern Missouri, Ozarks. You know, there's still a lot of thinking that I'm doing, trying to figure out what am I going to do with my future. But anyway, thought I'd share that with you. This is Mike and Rex, nostressmike.com.